Welcome to Shomach Shava on the Daf Shir Spanso Lu Nishva Sam Yaka Shalom Lea Pasitzchok. We're holding with Matzio Daf Ein Alf. The Gwana of Daf tells us that Hamalve Beribis Nechosov Mismoititim. Someone who lends Beribis says Nechosim, his assets, they get destroyed. He loses the assets. The assets don't have any brocha. The Night of Yudo and his Jush, Jush Atzlach, Jush Lamed Zayn, Lashav Asagodo. He goes on there to give a musr in his Joshua Shabbos Agodol to people not to take loans by ribis. And he says, we're not talking about only a lender. We know the Isser is also on the bar. As the Gemara tells us, you have a lav in the mouth of the loyv and even the arav, even the guarantor. Says the Nehdi Biyudo, when someone takes a loan by ribis, the nechosa mismoititim also applies to the bar. He says that's the law of the Gemara. The Gemara should have said, Hamalve Beribis misnoited Minechasov. Someone who lends Beribis, he loses his property. It doesn't say that he loses what he owns. He says, His Nechosi will misnoited him. Meaning, not only that the lender loses, but the borrower, anybody who does business as part of his business, loses as well. He says the opposite of what's brought down in Gemara Boabas regarding Eoiv. Someone who does business with Eoiv, he has a bracha. Here's the exact opposite. The borrower who did a business with a lender does this, he also loses. That all the nechosim that are involved in this deal are mismoititim, who get ruined. And the Nehdi really goes on to say, he says that this year, talking about when he gave the Joshua Shabbos Agodol, there were many yidin that borrowed money from a mumar, who was a person who stopped being Jewish, stopped keeping mitzvahs, and they felt they could take from him a loan beribis, but he's a Eid. So it's the same issue, the same problem. And he says, you see, each and every one who took a loan beribis from this mumar, he lost everything. And then the Yudah ends this piece with a Musr, telling people, don't be involved in loans that have ribis, not as a lender, but not even as a borrower. Because anybody involved in the Chosom Yismoyti team, the assets go to loss. And this connects directly with what the Shmaitzel, the Balak Tzois, the Shmaitzel has in the beginning of the Sefer, an Agdoma, which is full of Agadata, full of Machshava pieces. And there in Ois Reish, he brings our Gemara, and he adds what the Gemara says. The Gemara asks, but we see that many other people that don't lend Beribis also misvote, they also lose out. So the Gemara says, Omar Blaza, Allah misvote it in Vahilim, Allah misvote it in Vahilim. The ones that don't give ribis, so they break it down and they come back up. But the ones who give ribis, mispoit in vain oiling. So as the Shmaitzo, you see as well people, many people that they do businesses with no ribis, they lose the money and they never come back. They're never able to recuperate from that loss. So he answers the Shmaitzo. He says, the Medrash brings, Parshas Matos, Hashem mashpil af meroimim. Because Bogu said, take some people down, some people up. It's a circle. Some people come rich, and others are poor, and then it turns around. And that's why it's called Nechosim. Nechosim, meaning assets, are called Nechosim, Loshim Kisui. For some people it's covered, some people it's revealed. It depends on the time. And that's why it's called Zuzim. They go from one to another. So it says the Shpaitza, Gewaldik a Chiddush in our Gemara. When it says in the Gemara that Nechosim mismoititim ve'oilim, not necessarily the person who lost the money will get the money back. But a person didn't do ribis, so he's going to lose the money. It's the time for him not to be rich. Someone else will make money on this money. Someone else will gain from it. These assets will be producing something somewhere else. But the, those who are giving the ribis, these properties, assets, they get lost and nobody benefits from them. They don't go to anybody else. It's a complete loss. And this is really connects with what the Noi Debiudah says. That whenever there's a loan beribis, this business is completely gone. These nechosim are gone. It's not the lender that loses. Anybody else who's involved in it loses as well. Nobody can benefit from these nechosim. These nechosim, so to speak, are cursed with a smoitetus, with a breakdown that comes from Rebus. And this is what the Maharal really says over here, connected to what we mentioned in the Maharal in previous year. Because Rebus is death. Rebus belongs to destruction. 
And when you have ribis, ribis ruins the assets that you're dealing with and it causes that no one can benefit from it. It's a death sentence to any, anyone involved in these businesses. Anyone who wants to join the Shomach Shavah email list or WhatsApp, please email shomachshavah at gmail.com.